Al, what went through your mind when you saw Kristaps asked to go out and walk to the locker room? I'm worried, you know, just concerned. Uh, um, you know, anytime that any of your guys go back there, especially him, the way that he was walking, how definitely, definitely concerning for me. Were you able to talk to him at all after the game and see how he's doing? Yeah, yeah, I, I touched base with him. Um, you know, he's, he's in good spirits, but, you know, we don't know uh, what's, what's it going to be. Um, I'm just, you know, hoping that it's, you know, nothing serious and, um, and that he can get back to us quick. How did your mindset have to shift in that moment, though, as well? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, I think all of us, our mindset has to shift, specifically, you know, me and myself. I talked to Luke, I talked to Xavier, and just kind of letting them know that we have to, you know, be ready, you know, to step up and, and do a little more and do what's needed. KP was playing so well um, defensively, um, his presence and um, what he brings to us. So, um, like I said, I just hope that it's, it's nothing too serious. How we don't see you get as fired up as you did when that happened with Adebayo and with uh, Tatum. What was what were you saying to the refs? What were you seeing on that play? Yeah, I just, just I mean, I, I know that we get to playing around and trying to contest shots after fouls and things like that. But, um, uh, you know, there's levels to contest. And, um, and if a guy is shooting and the play's over with, just kind of let him be. Um, I know he's trying to compete over there, and but, uh, but I was just mad. Um, you know, I don't want to see any of my guys get hurt uh, or anything like that. So um, thankfully, JT's fine, but um, but it, it could have been bad. How has the uh, regular season just kind of prepared you and Luke and Xavier? Just be prepared kind of for this moment, next man up and everything. Yeah, I mean, all season it's kind of been that way. Um, you know, we. Uh, whether it's for different reasons, you know, KP wasn't always playing all the time. So um, Luke, Xavier, Nimi have to kind of be ready to step up and answer the call. And, uh, and they've been doing a good job of that all year. And obviously, it's the playoffs now. It's different. But I have confidence in those guys if they need to come in and, and, and bring energy and bring and, and impact the game. You said, you said you said something to them about being ready. Was that during a timeout or something like that? At halftime, at halftime, you know, we just talked and just told told the guys to, you know, to be ready to go and, um, uh, you know, have to be able to seize this moment. Derek got a career high 38 points tonight. How has his progression kind of changed you guys this season? Uh, man, it's great. Um, uh, you know, I, I just think that he just continues to <laughs> get better but I feel like also he's getting more comfortable uh, I know he's been here for a few years now but I just think that he's finding his way there's a lot that he has to navigate um, as a point guard and a lot of things that he has to do and uh, and I was just so happy to see him um, you know he was taking what the defense gave him and he was being aggressive he was attacking uh, it was beautiful to see and um, but I you know with him I was just as impressed on the defensive end you know his commitment to defense and, uh, and making sure that, that he's getting out there and contesting shots and doing those things. That's what makes uh, Derek so special. What have you liked defensively from these past two games in particular that kind of get that uh, I Just our focus, um, you know, our, our focus on the defensive end. Um, you know, we're really making a commitment to that. But that's been us all year. You know, we've, you know, we've tried to play Celtic basketball and defend and establish ourselves on the defensive end and also get out and run and play a little bit. So um, our offense wasn't the best today, but defensively we were we were good. Alte, in Nacional Español, como veterano, se está 3-1 ahora mismo. ¿Hay lugar a celebrar un poco o hablas con los chicos? No, 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 no hay, no hay nada de celebrar. Imagínate, un equipo que, que, que tiene mucho, mucho orgullo, un equipo que juega fuerte, que, que no se va a rendir. Y, y le dijimos y los muchachos saben saben que tenemos que estar enfocados que tenemos que salir eh, en, en casa no nos podemos confiar y tenemos que terminar el trabajo porque no está ter, no hemos terminado todavía las bajas que tienen ellos pesan mucho en tu opinión y, eh, claro y... claro absolutamente eso es algo que es así y ellos lo sabían y eh, es parte del juego pero claro definitivamente is there an added urgency to this next game to close this out because maybe it adds like an opportunity to get guys rest, uh, maybe because you're missing Porzingis? I think the biggest thing for us is just really make sure that we're playing the right way and that we're focusing on game five at home. Um, we can't think beyond that. Um, I think those are things that 
if they happen, happen, but it's whatever it takes in our mindset to come out at home, respond, play our style of play, and we'll figure those things out later. But the priority is that we have to make sure that we come out at home just like we've played here this past two games. How does, Wait, last question. How do moments like this between like the BAM thing, KP's injury, how does that affect, how does it make it challenging to focus on those kind of things? Like it's easy to kind of get distracted, maybe compensate for those things. So over your years, have you found like the challenge to be to actually stay focused on the team? Um, yeah, you know, in, in the playoffs, there's like, you know, there's moments, there's highs, there's low, but um, ultimately, I just think you just have to, you know, stay the course and look ahead and, you know, just kind of figure it out and move on. And I felt like our group did a good job of that tonight. I felt like there was some calls that didn't go our way. Guys were getting fouled or, you know, we didn't think that we fouled. And I felt like our guys were able to move on to the next play. Um, and that's that's huge for our group. You know, guys weren't complaining. Guys were like moving on to the next play, uh, next play mentality type thing. And, um, and, and I felt tonight was as good of a job as we've done all year with that. Okay. Thank you, Al.